This is second class of an understanding on TCM. In our last class, we have discussed that what is TCM in a general way. And today, we are going to learn the general or the most fundamental features of TCM. Speaking of the general features of TCM, these two are regarded as the most important points of view that guide the theories of TCM. Holistic concept, guan, and treatment based on syndrome differentiation, zhi. And today, we will focus on the holistic concept. Let's look at this picture. In brief, the holistic concept holds the opinions that a man lives on the earth. His body is a holistic unit. Moreover, he and the external environments where he lives are united together, which is in TCM are known as the integrity of the human body, wu zhang yi ti guan. And the unit between the body and its external environments, tian ren xiang yin guan. Take a look on these two pictures. One is a TCM practitioner taking pose on a patient. One is someone counting the beats of the heart from the patient. Could you tell me which one is pose taking and why? So we see a pillow on the left picture. That is why we figure out this one is pose taking. Not bad. Yes, you are right. Pulse taking is one of the most important diagnostic methods in TCM. The theory it bases on is that the human body is a holistic unit. So, on each wrist, there is special location indicates internal viscera respectively. For example, on the left hand, from this position to that position, which are named as chun. Guan Chi in TCM can indicate the heart, the liver, and the kidney. While on the right hand, anything changed on the manifestation of the pose in different position can indicate the lung, the spleen and stomach, and the kidney. Therefore, when a TCM doctor taking pose on a patient, more than counting the beats, he is detecting what is going on inside. TCM believes that various viscera, tissues, and organs, channels, and collaterals are connected with each other, and therefore they are interacting together. This kind of connection or network-like system takes the five zhang organ as the center. Different from West medicine, TCM divides internal organs into two groups, known as five zhang organs and six fu organs. For specific contents about zhang and fu, we will learn later. The general connection is demonstrated in the form. Let us just take the heart as an example. The heart and the small intestine build up an interior-exterior relationship. The heart governs the vessels of the whole body and opens into the tongue. And there are two main channels named the heart channel of hand shao yin and the small intestine channel of hand tai yang serve as the contact system. Since they are physiologically connected in pathological condition, there are mutual interaction for certain. Let us play our link game. I have four clinical manifestations, which are irritability. We can see red complexion and red eyes on his face, acne on the face, loss of hearing in older people, and a bromopnea. According to the theory of TCM, they may relate to courses from the lung, the stomach, the liver, or the kidney. Can you make the link? Anger is the emotion of the liver. The lung connects the skin. The kidney opens into the ears, and the stomach channel distributes to the area of the mouth. Therefore, we can make links in this way. As a very famous TCM doctor said, internal change must exhibit external manifestations. 有助内者必行助外. That's why. 
by means of pulse taking, tongue inspecting, inquiry, as well as listening and smelling. The four diagnostic methods in TCM, Wang, Wen, Wen, Qie. A TCM doctor makes diagnosis. Moreover, this point of view that a human being is a holistic unit guides TCM doctors to formulate strategies of treatment. Okay, this is the first point in the holistic concept, the integrity of the human body. The second point is that the unit between the body and ex external environments. It is the map of China, isn't it? Not exactly. It is a beauty map of China. With the color on the map goes darker, the more good-looking people you can find in the local area. See, this is the places Zhejiang province where I come from. I'm very proud of the dark red color. So this is a very, very simple example that the geography, the weather, and other environmental factors impact the appearance of people. For sure, not only the look, our health, living habits, and a susceptibility to certain diseases are under the influence of external environments where we live. Here, the external environments include natural world such as geography, season, day and night, and a social society. That's why, when we make diagnosis and conduct the treatment, the climate and the local circumstances as well as the individual patient are the three factors that a doctor should take into consideration. The Chinese term is shan yin zhi yi. For example, there is a general principle in the application of herbal medicinals. Be cautious to apply hot herbs in hot season and hot places. Be cautious to apply cold herbs in cold season and cold places. These are the whole contents about the holistic concept, one of the fundamental features in TCM. Hope you like it, and I will see you next time.